Okay. <clears throat> if you take a look at the at the leaves, it's a simple leaf, and if you look at some of the older leaves on it, and you'll see at the very tip of it, this one doesn't show it very easily. What was it called? The uh, Great Basin Sagebrush is the common name. <clears throat> okay, this has got it. Okay, if you look at the end of the leaves, you see there's three little tips on it. See? That's where they get the tridentata. So it's, it's kind of cool learning botanical names because um, sometimes they give you hints on identification or something interesting about the plant. Okay. <clears throat> so anyhow, this is Artemisia tridentata. Um, it's, uh, you can use it a little bit for spice, spices and stuff. The Indians would use it. It's very antimicrobial, very mm. disinfectant. So they would actually dry this leaf and powder it and uh, um, use it for, for infections. They'd use it for a diaper rash and stuff like that for babies. It's very disinfectant. And it's, when you dry it and powder it, uh, it's kind of like a baby powder. So it, it's really good for moist area chafing, you know, like between your legs and stuff. When you're walking a lot, you know, sometimes you can get it, rub yourself raw. So it's really good for stuff like that. The Indians would also use this as a, to help in food preservation. So they would take br food preservation. They would take a branch, branches of this and put a layer down, then put acorns or pine nuts or something on top, and another layer, and then another layer of acorns, and another layer of branches, and it would keep pests out, you know? So, because uh, very few things eat this, you know? This is the indicator plant of the Great Basin Desert. And there's only three deserts in the, in the United States. There's four in North America. <clears throat> One is entirely in Mexico. It's a Chihuahuan desert. Um, the other desert, Paul is in the middle of it, is the Sonoran or the Colorado desert. Um, and we're right on the verge of the Mojave Desert, we're very familiar with. And then the, the desert north of us starts around basically you know, Bishop area and goes on north, uh, southern Idaho, eastern Oregon, all the way over into Utah. That's the Great Basin Desert. That's a cold desert, so they can you know, very commonly get snow up there. It's a lot colder than here. But this is the indicator plant. There's an indicator plant is the plant that's normally associated with a certain plant community. So this is the identification of the Great Basin Desert. Even though it escapes in some places, it goes as far south as um, the San, uh, San Jacinto Mountains. There's a valley, I forget the name of the valley, but there's a pretty big population of Great Basin sagebrush there too. <clears throat> And then after that, it's very sparsely seen going all the way into Mexico. <clears throat> but you'll find it going all the way up into even southern Montana.